natural mortality. It's oftentimes out of sight, but it shouldn't be out of mind. People that live on the land and work with these animals every day know that they're always looking for a reason and a place to die. And out here in Mother Nature in the real world, there's a lot of natural mortality. Now research has shown, particularly in South Texas, as the bucks get older, go through the different age classes, their mortality rates change between age classes. Uh, the yearling bucks are very, very high, uh, sometimes as much as 35-40%. Uh, they drop off from two to four years old. Then once they enter maturity, say from five years on, they go back up. On some ranches in South Texas, because of predation, uh, tight sex ratio, and a heavy age structure amongst the bucks, 35-40% uh, of your mature bucks are gonna die naturally. That's without any hunting pressure. Coyotes, mountain lions, sometimes bobcats, low fences, uh, just a, a myriad of things, rattlesnake bites, and then of course buck fights and, and injury related Death. So you take an antler to the rump or in the ribs, it may take a month or more, but you'll find he'll end up dying because of infection. Uh, and then I say, then you throw on the hunting, the wounded from the hunting. Uh, it's just an ongoing battle for these deer. They're, they're, they're fighting to survive every day. So think about natural mortality. There's some things you can and can't do to curb that, but it's out there. It's happening every day, even in the summer. So managers have to take that into account when you're managing your deer herd.